D-Lo 404 Boxing. All right, so um, shout out to Barbershop Conversation. Errol Spence Jr. called into the show last night, and, you know, he basically said that he was unaware of whether or not Manny Pacquiao was being reinstated, said that he's heard rumblings about it, but he hadn't heard anything concrete that has actually happened. So it still remains to be seen if the WBA are going to reinstate Pacquiao as their champion, but based on the things I've read and seen, um, even coming from the WBA president, that it's very likely that they're going to reinstate Manny Pacquiao as the uh, WBA super champion ahead of his fight with Errol Spence Jr., um, which would put Errol Spence Jr. in position or Manny Pacquiao in position to come away from that fight with three belts. And I'm hopeful that whoever comes away um, will entertain <clears throat> or press for making the fight with Terrence Crawford so we can get an undisputed champion at 147. And not only do we get an undisputed champion, we get a fight either way that we've been wanting to see for quite some time. You know, if it's Errol Smith Jr. versus Crawford, big fight, we've been wanting to see it for quite some time now. If it's Manny Pacquiao versus uh, Terrence Crawford, likewise, same thing. So either way, I feel like if the winner of this fight is a three belt champion and they're pushing for the Terrence Crawford fight and they can be made, I feel like the boxing fans win two times. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get an undisputed champion at 147. Out of all these, you know what I'm saying, top tier fighters at 147, we'll have one champion. But then we'll also get a fight that we've been waiting on for a few years now. Um, the other thing I will say is that I think Errol Smith Jr. has basically stated that regardless, he, he's not going to stick around 147, but, you know, maybe two to three more fights. So even if he were able to become undisputed, then we we know um, basically that he's not going to stay and have an undisputed reign. So there again, we'd have, you know, somebody become undisputed, then vacate all the belts and lead the division. But, you know, that remains to be seen. That's putting the cart before the horse. A lot of things have to take place before anybody becomes undisputed at 147. But I'm hopeful that it happens. D-Lo 404 Boxing, like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.